How you doing guys? Uh, my name is Sergey Biden and a lot of people ask me about how I prefer my images for social media or Instagram. So today I'm gonna do that. So first thing I'm gonna open this image in my Photoshop. Number one thing you want to crop an image correctly for Instagram or for social media. For Instagram I like to have images specifically 4x5 size. That's the best uh, suitable size for specifically for Instagram. So number one thing we're gonna do is just to crop it. In here, right here I have already presets. If you're, if it's not preset you can change the numbers right here. So this is gonna be 4x5 right here. Now we're just gonna choose and crop it how you like it, how you prefer. You can crop it more or less. I'm gonna make a little bit bigger just to cover a little bit more area. So that's how I'm gonna do. So make sure it's look even. Second thing, I will use this tool. Select this area. Click right here, on the movable. And now I just gonna move and to remove the black right here. Actually spreading. Same thing I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna count, I'm gonna take even hair. Selecting the hair as well and do the same way. And it's gonna look natural completely. Now the next step is to select. And now it's good time to go image size. And I'm gonna do at the longest, so the longest or biggest number right here. You wanna make sure it's in the pixels. And the resolution is 300. I will do it 2000 pixels. And it should be 2000 on height and width is gonna be 1600. Press OK. Now your image is resized to the correct size. And another step that we're gonna do is I will sharpen image for social media. Uh, to sharpen your image for Instagram, uh, you need to go filter, sharpen. Oops, miss it a little bit. Oh, can I get it? Unsharp. And here's my numbers that I like to put. So I want to make sure that the radius is 0 0.2. This is called 0, but the radius is 0 0.2. And here, if you like more sharper, you can go a little bit up. I usually keep around 200 to 300, so basically 250, depend on the image. Then I press OK. And this is it, that's how I prefer. And next thing is to save image specifically uh, correctly. So I go File, Export, Save for Web, and in here I would put quality 75 or high, optimize, and you want to make sure click convert to sRGB. And then that's pretty much is done. You just click save. And whatever you want, I would save to the desktop. I would put web size and save it. Now we can close it. Okay, I save it separately, so I'm not gonna be saving original one. Original, and this is actually prepared image for social media. And let's look it up side by side. Original and image prepare for social media. That's how it looks like. And let's look it up on this file size. Original one is on the original one is 10 megabytes. And for social media is only 680 kilobytes. It's perfect size for Instagram 
after you finish, you just post your image on Instagram and it should look beautiful and nice. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and see you at next videos. Bye.